Hello and welcome to the Purple Jam Podcast. Today we have Hugh Dam. Hey man, how you doing? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Thanks. How are you? you yeah, good? yeah, pretty good, man. How's your How's your day been? You've been up too much. Uh, yeah, it's been alright. Uh, it's been like pretty slow. Woke up like pretty late. Um, had some breakfast, and now I'm here talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Sweet. that's pretty much my day so far, man. <laughs> Sounds like a good day. I um, watched some. Have you seen Spartacus? I watched that earlier today. It's oh, like a Netflix thing. Yeah, uh, I've dumb, I've man. heard of it. Is it is it kind of like sex and violence, right? That's, that's kind yeah, of... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's the first time I've heard someone describe it as that. But yeah, that's literally <laughs> it in like a nutshell. Sweet. Yeah, it's pretty jokes. Cool. Yeah. Um. Right, man, let's get on to music. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, the first thing I, I kind of wanted to dive into is when you're writing, when you're coming up with, with your lyrics, do you do you tend to do that without kind of a backing? Is that kind of in a notebook on a bus? Or, or do you like to have music with you and then you're kind of improvising and the best lines stay? Like, how does that work? Mm. Um, I don't know. It changes... Um differently from um time to time like sometimes um i'll i'll just be writing um some bars just like without an instrumental in in my ears or without like an instrumental in mind or anything sometimes i'll just be writing just just the idea comes right from the pad yeah. But then, like, sometimes, like, I don't know, sometimes when, with this with this new project that I've been making, I've had all the beats ready for a while, so um, I've been really um, writing with um, with the beats in mind, obviously, just playing, playing the beats that I've made for it, and then trying to write something specifically for it, you know? Oh, cool. Like, and so, there's a lot of rhythmic variation in your flow. How- does that oh, come across from the like the words that you're writing specifically or do you kind of when you're making a beat do you have an idea like right that's where the hook's going to come in and then we're going to go into triplets or Ooh, um, I don't know I mean I, I don't really have like a lot of like thought into like I don't I don't pre-prepare a lot of thought um, into how I'm going to make like Every every bit flow differently, or yeah. which um, where certain parts of the song are going to come in. But I, f- I think one of the important things for me is um, just to make sure that the verse, like the lyrics for the verse that I've got, are like rounded off. Like right. they're they're like in in the sense that they they end. At um, at um, the right time. Like I'm not gonna cut off um, a verse without um, without it filling its purpose, just so that it can get like right to the chorus. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just gonna um, make one bigger verse. I'm not just gonna cut it down. Just so it can go right into the chorus, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. That's that's just one of the main things for me, making sure that the verse is rounded off cool. in the right way. And, yeah, yeah. And do you do that so that uh, you're kind of not diluting the point you're trying to make in the verse? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Precisely. That's yeah, yeah. That's completely it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, on the head. You mentioned uh, you, you've been making beats for the the current project. Is that is? But I I know I've seen on projects you've done in the past that you've worked with producers. Um, yeah. 
how do you do you prefer kind of having the whole control so you do the production and the lyricism more or do you prefer working with people or perhaps perhaps both um i don't know i'd say like probably both to be honest because there are things that um uh other producers do that i can't like i i, I can't do as well as them but then for the for the times when I'm producing. It's nice to have like um, uh, like f it's it is nice to have like full control of like an idea as well, so I can make it just you know like exactly how I want. But I do, I do um, yeah, I do. I don't know, yeah, I don't really have a preference to be honest cool. with um, yeah. with uh, either either way of working to be honest. Yeah, every time I've worked with like other producers, it's been it's been pretty it's been um, fun. pretty dope. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Nice. And and when you say uh, things they do better, is that from a kind of technical perspective, or or is that more just like kind of genre specific? Um. Yeah, I'd say like. Yeah, I'm. I'm not like. I don't know. I'm an. All, I'm an alright like producer, but they, yeah, I'm like. I don't know when I've been like collabing with like I don't know like, Aftermind or like the Mighty Bacon yeah. or something. There are things that they they can do like I think they might be like a bit more skilled okay. um producers so like they they could do things that I like I probably couldn't but you know I like still still like yeah and I, I enjoy producing enough and I think I'm like all right enough at it now that I can kind of like put together my own project as well you know yeah like, sweet yeah, yeah. And uh, because you have that control, have you have you got any plans for kind of a like a, a big project? You know, maybe like a, a big album that tells a story across the whole thing, or like what what are your goals going forward artistically? Well, this this next one that I'm like working on right now is going to be called. I think I'm going to call it like the loneliest monk. Right. Like um, it's um. It's not. It's not like a massively like conceptual thing. There's not like a big like story behind it. Sure. Or like thematically, it's just like um, I think it's gonna be like ten different songs or something. Um, they're all of like I, I wouldn't really know how to like point to it like genre-wise, but it's not. Um, it's not so much like the old school like boom bap kind of thing that I was oh, okay. doing um before on some projects. It's yeah. like no um no samples. There's like a bit of like house in there. There's like some jazzy moments, some like trappy moments. Um and yeah, um there's the songs I don't know. I like I'm, I I was literally working on like one of the songs, like as you called, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um, there's uh, there's gonna be some singing on there as well. I haven't really given that much of a try. Is it? Yeah, it's basically I'm just trying to make like some kind of like fun music that people can like dance to as well as like appreciate. Cool. Appreciate the lyrics and stuff, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And know. so going going forward, do you want like a like a Hugh Dem band, like for, for oh, that'd life. be fucking like oh, imagine like, like the Roots or something. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be like so sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like if I could get if I could get a oh, it could be called like the Crew Dem, Hugh Dem and the Crew Dem. <laughs> that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be wicked. <laughs> that'd be sick. Uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. If if I could like if I could get it together someday, that'd be that'd be pretty mad. Yeah. That'd be dope. Oh man, maybe we could. Uh, like Matt and I know a lot of players. Maybe, maybe we could do something. Maybe we could be the That's crew it. dem for a gig. Or something. Yeah, That'd be let's sweet. do it. <laughs> Matt was even saying about like um, trying to sample like one of one of your like songs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be like really cool. I'd definitely be down for that as well. Like, sweet, cool. Yeah, man. Um, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. So shout to the Everybody kicking the rhythm, we lay down the crowds at the gigs with us. Friends and fam that wanna see us above, and all the fans kicking the jam. One love, 24 7, 365. I be in the zone trying to keep it live. Every day I'm trying to compose a rhyme because I can't lose focus. I gotta stay focused. For the wicked, there ain't no rest. No Being a, 
a music producer and um, do you have kind of a, a working knowledge of music theory or or do you kind of just go go by your ears most of the time um i like I have like a knowledge of like music theory. Like I was, uh, I was playing guitar before, for like a really long time. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I've got like I think it was like to be fair, I probably can remember like most of it now. But I probably like helped having like I've got like grade five music theory and yeah. even just like studying music like throughout like all at school, mm -hmm. and, like uni is like. It will, yeah, it will, it, it will have probably helped, but for the most part, I just, like, uh, try and find things with, like, my ears. Like, if, I, if I'm working out some chords for a song yeah. or something, I don't, like, really thoroughly think about, like, oh, like, you know, this, I'm playing this note, so, like, it should be followed by um this one. I just yeah. kind of, like, try and find it with... um with my ears because I think I don't know y y you shouldn't put like too many rules to it like if it if it sounds good it sounds good like, I think that's like the main thing in yeah. music just try and make something that sounds good you know like yeah cool and uh, you mentioned uh, the new the new album you're working on is pretty pretty varied kind of sonically yeah um, yeah uh, is there much live instrumentation on that, or is a lot of kind of VSTIs? How how's that working? Mm, I've been trying to put like more like guitar into um, into my music right, right now because I just yeah, just playing guitar is just like really fun. Yeah. So yeah. like I've I've um for the most for the most part it's like kind of like VSTs and stuff. I've got like VSTs like replicating. Yeah. Rep replicating um, <laughs> live instruments as well like there's quite a bit of like electric like piano on there and then I've got like a lot of synths and stuff like obviously but yeah there's like there's like quite a bit of guitar on there like trying to get trying to get back into that oh, so yeah man. cool and uh, what's your DAW of choice what are you making this in oh it's Cubase Oh, Cubase Cubase. Five. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. I got Cubase Five, man. I, before I, I just had like Cubase, like light edition. Yeah, like I've yeah, for like I think it was until maybe ah, uh, actually it was until this year I was like going strong on Cubase, <laughs> Cubase light edition for like it must have been like ten years or something. Because yeah. I'm I'm really bad at like I don't know. I'm really bad at like technology, so like <laughs> I never actually got round to like trying to like torrent or like download a newer version of Cubase. But my friend just like did it for me the other day, and like, I've never, never looked back. It's cool. pretty sick. <laughs> I can sidechain now. I couldn't sidechain on the Cubase <laughs> Light Edition. I just had to like automate the volume oh, man. to like make it sound. Yeah, just duck it. <laughs> but now, yeah, it's it's going yeah. a bit better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool yeah. man. Um, so the the technology side of it, um, that isn't something that's particularly exciting to you. Is that kind of what you're saying? Um, like, I, I, I enjoy like um, producing and composing and like making beats and stuff, and and like mixing and mastering. Like, I I, I really enjoy that. But mm. I'm I'm not like I'm I'm not like. Um, massively like uh involved in kind of like f figuring out like new equipment and yeah. like working in like studios or like that kind of thing like yeah, yeah i'm more i'm more about like um composing and um performance just just because like i think like i'm i'm better than that better at that than like yeah the more like Techie side of things, you know. Cool. Like, yeah, yeah. There's no triumph if there ain't no test. So I'ma keep on writing these songs because I can't lose focus. I gotta stay focused. Shot and tapes is a hard track when you get ignored or part back. People that pass back, they make a joke at you. Hit 
you with this number me. Why they got a piece stuff cut like a robbery? I wrote this, recorded it, mixed it, mastered it, ripped it, shipped it, printed half of it, put my heart in it, barely even charged for it, just for a stranger to walk by and laugh at it. Or when you put out a tune, no lie, you drop it on the web. Sweet, so, so going to the, the live show, I, um, I supported you <laughs> a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Um, uh, and you're, you've got such a lot of, well, appear to have such a lot of confidence on stage. Um, oh, geez, do, do, you, do you feel confident or is that kind of like a persona you try and put on? Oh, what you mean like, what, do I feel confident when I'm on stage? Or yeah, like, yeah. do you mean like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I do, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I feel when I'm just doing doing my thing, like, stage I don't know it like I, I don't want to sound like corny or anything but yeah. I just like it just clicks clicks yeah, a yeah. little bit like I just feel a bit more like at ease you know it just yeah it just um just feels just feels good go no because you get in the zone as well you know yeah. you just get in the zone and then like it's just like you and like a beat and a crowd and then you just got to figure out what you got to do you know, yeah man like, I, I can really uh, I, that's kind of how I feel when I play drums I can really really yeah. relate to that that's that's cool yeah um, so moving moving forward what's the what's the end goal like in 10 years do you want to headline Wembley what are you what are you trying uh, to do <laughs> um, I mean I wouldn't say no to it if they asked <laughs> but um, and they might. I don't <laughs> I don't really mind, man. Like, just so long as I'm, like, like, so long as I'm happy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that could be, that could be with, with, like, success in, in music, or, I mean, you know, I don't, yeah, just so long as I'm, like, happy and then I'm in a, I'm in a good place, you know? That's, like, the main thing. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's good, good attitude. Um, what what are your interests outside of music then? What do you what do you like? Um, I like um, I quite like like reading. Reading is pretty fun. Um, I like reading books. I like um, been trying to get back into like going to the gym. Yeah. Recently. Um, what else? I like watching 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 shows too. Watching shows, watching films. Um. Cool. Then, uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. I mean, my my life is like mainly consumed <laughs> like, with like music. To be honest, yeah, 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 that's usually like I'll definitely like do music, like I do music like every day yeah. in some kind of some, some form, kind of way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, I li- I like I like doing some other things too. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you What do you read? What uh, What's your genre? Uh, it depends. Like, I've, I've, right now, I'm reading. Like, have you heard of like um, Marlon James? He's like um, this like Jamaican author. I think his book. Oh, I think it won like a Pulitzer Prize. Right. It's called like A Brief History of Seven Killings. Oh wow! And it's about like um, a whole. It's like these different like characters in um, Jamaica from like different places in the world and different walks of life. They like um, they all have like different experiences that are connected to um, it's like the um, the assassination of um, well the assassination attempt on um, Bob Marley's life when he was living in um, uh, this this um, place in Jamaica yeah right. yeah so it's all about kind of the events like in these people's life that build up to that and transpire afterwards and it, yeah no it's just like it's dope as hell usually usually i read like non-fiction oh, non-fiction okay. books like historical historical kind of books or something like that you know but yeah that's that's the one that i'm reading cool. at the moment yeah yeah <laughs> sweet um um is there anything you you want to promote yeah uh, catch uh you dem and the mighty bacon New Day EP at roughstuffrecords.bandcamp.com. Yeah, and um, have a have a nice 
Have a nice time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Um, all right. All right, man. Thanks so much for your time. And uh, yeah, I'm sure absolutely. I'll see you in, in Kingston at probably at Hannaford's, I guess. Yeah. At some point yeah, in the yeah, future. No, nah, cheers, dude. Nah, that was nice, nice chatting, man. Yeah. On the web, thinking it's all right. Nobody bumps it, G. You couldn't get a boss for me as a bumblebee. Nobody owes me nothing. Nobody owes me nothing. But I would really love it if you showed me something. I know you scroll through your news feed when nothing's on. For three minutes of that, you could play one of these songs. Cause I don't want a nine to five desk type job. I'm looking for the ten to twelve headlines.